What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon news update video and yesterday, last night, well early in the morning today for me like 3, 4 in the morning, I woke up to the news that the Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu games were confirmed by Nintendo. They had a whole press conference which I did a reaction to. I'm gonna have a link in the description to that reaction just in case you want to see it and as well as a link to the Let's Go Eevee let's go pikachu trailer which <laughs> oh my god you have to see it but to my surprise that wasn't the only pokemon games they brought up during that presentation they also brought up this game that i'm doing a whole video for so let's jump in the game is called pokemon quest now pokemon quest is a free to start pokemon game that is available now on your nintendo switch incoming soon in a month or so i think they said to mobile so yes that means right now now you can log on to the eShop and I believe in any language in you know Japan, Europe, the US, you can download a Pokemon Quest, a free to start Pokemon game right now. Now right off the bat, Pokemon Quest gives me a Pokemon Rumble vibe where you don't control the Pokemon per se, you kind of just have like attack commands where you can kind of tap on the screen or with a mouse like indicator. kind of. Like like how Stardew Valley feels but this is again totally different from the Rumble series I could say I could clearly see them bringing the Rumble series to the Nintendo Switch and not interfering at all with this type of game this Pokemon Quest game because it's, it's a different game it does definitely feels unique and different even though it does share a lot of the free to start aspects of what Pokemon Rumble kind of embraces now, just like every Pokemon game, you start off with a choice of a starter Pokemon. In this game, they focus on the original 151 Pokemon. So that is the Kanto Pokemon. So your starters are obviously Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur, but they also throw in Pikachu and Eevee for that Let's Go Pikachu tie-in, which is kind of cool. And how the game plays out is kind of like, it's kind of split into kind of two different like little mini game things. So on one side, you have like this base builder where you like, build bases and put statues and cook food to attract Pokemon to the base then you use the Pokemon that you attract to the base to go on these quests which just basically results in you giving Pokemon commands they run around by themselves you don't control them but you do control the commands so you kind of feel like you're a Pokemon trainer per se and then the Pokemon just clears out wave after wave after wave kind of like a horror mode for Pokemon which is kind of cool of course with being Pokemon these Pokemon level up these pokemon gain skills gain new moves and stuff like that i haven't gotten to the point where pokemon evolved because as a free-to-play game i only put in like a couple of hours into it right now and i'm always stopping the game has a timer that's always ticking so every time you use one of your turns you have to wait till the timer recharges and to in order to play again that's how these free to start games work which again they're not charging you you any money up front so you are getting a game for free and as of right now I haven't put in any money into the game so I can't really say and complain that I'm getting this free experience I'm just that type of gamer that I would I would prefer paying you know 10 20 to 30 dollars up front knowing that I never have to pay or never have to wait to pay but again these types of games are usually built on that aspect in mind with this Pokemon Quest game I don't see anyone really taking it too 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 seriously where you want to dedicate hours back to back to back to back playing this does feel like something you pop in at least daily and you know knock out a couple of quests you know until you kind of hit a wall whatever the case may be you stop you may you know cook some food to attract new pokemon and then you jump out of the game and then jump back into what mario odyssey or you know zelda breath of the wild it doesn't feel like a full experience and maybe we are going to get some updates to the game that is going to add to it as of right now i finished the first zone and then it splits off into two other zones i'm in the fourth stage in the third zone and then in the second zone i'm in the fourth stage again and i'm kind of stuck there my pokemon aren't strong enough to beat that last wave where you fight like a you know definitive boss of that stage and it's like parasag keeps kicking my ass but again for a free to start game how can i complain basically given to us for free by the pokemon company so this game obviously isn't going to be forever hell i don't see myself 
myself playing this down when uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee comes out because I think I'm going to be spending most of my time playing those games rather than this one. I would probably jump back in if there is an update or is a integration with within the two games that, you know, maybe I get rewards for logging into Pokemon Quest or whatnot, maybe able to send a Pokemon from Pokemon Quest to the games. But as of right now, that is not confirmed or even laid out as a roadmap for the games. And again, I, I, I don't think this game was aimed for everyone. The art style is very kiddish and you know is very minecraft s if you want to say and it's it is aimed at a much simpler crowd just like the pokemon rumble series was back in the day but there is a hardcore element to this like you can literally shiny hunt in this game because you can apparently get shinies i'm gonna have images on screen of people on twitter actually getting shinies brought to their camps i haven't come across a shiny in my game yet but i'm not shiny hunting in the pokemon quest <laughs> anyway but i can see this actually having a true core fan base again because the entry fee is free so of course it's gonna have people that's gonna support it that's gonna be on board that's gonna you know at least ride the pokemon quest wave until the pokemon let's go eevee and pokemon let's go pikachu games come out so again this is not a full review it's like you can't really do a full review of this game unless you just like drop a hundred dollars into it right away and then be able to to play it continuously be sure to be on the lookout for a more in-depth review or discussion of pokemon quest right now i'm just gonna leave this as my impressions should you check it out yeah check it out it's free what do you have to lose maybe an hour of your time if it's not for you just by looking at the game and just by the comparison of pokemon rubble have you ever played those pokemon rubble games and if you have and were turned off because of its simplicity and the idea of just you know not really being a true pokemon rpg game if those ideas turned you away this is not going to change those ideas this is basically the same type of game just drag dropped on the switch to me I'm more interested in trying this on my mobile device when it comes out in a month or so because to me I can see me jumping in on the Nintendo Switch version of the game but it reminds me of Pokemon Shuffle. Pokemon Shuffle while on the 3DS is very good and well made and you could great use of the bottom touchscreen while playing Pokemon Shuffle. Playing it on the smartphone is just to me 10 times better. I have it everywhere I want to go. The daily logins are easier to do. I don't have to just load up that game inside of my pokemon shuffle and make sure i'm connected to the internet with my 3ds and all that it's just it's much easier to do via on the smartphone so i'm thinking maybe i'm gonna enjoy this experience more on the smartphone and again the controls does feel smartphone s where it does feel better if you just touching the screen playing in handheld mode rather than using the joy con grip using the joy cons attached to the nintendo switch screen and just playing like that it kind of feels weird and loose again i compared it to stardew valley earlier because that's how it kind of feels it kind of feels like a floaty mouse running over the screen at all times and it, again it could be slow at times and it could be floaty and it doesn't feel as responsive as just touching it and having the pokemon do the move right away so again try it out for yourself let me know what you think of pokemon quest in the comment section below like always guys i'm daddy gamer fred on instagram and twitter you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm be doing a ton of these pokemon news update videos the best way to catch them all is with a subscription so please hit that subscribe button also with the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon news update video